You remember when I said I could take you from zero to a million dollars in like two years? I just saw this video that just blew my mind. Now, I be knowing this stuff that I'm about to show you, but I just be baffled every time I see somebody say something about it. So I'm about to show you this clip right here. These are my, my credit card books. This is my main stack. I have easily over 50 cards in this stack right here. And then this is my side stack. And how many different banks uh, hold those credit cards? 20 probably. I went from zero business credit to over a half a million dollars in business credit in, in just over a year. I had no idea about business credit. And specifically what blew my mind about business credit is one, you can get access to hundreds of thousands of dollars, but then you can get access to these accounts that don't report to your personal credit profile. So if you get a personal credit card, you max that card out, it's gonna absolutely wreck your score. But if you get like a 50 to 100K business credit account, you can max that card out, use that money to start your business or scale your business, and it keeps your personal credit score unaffected. My man said 500,000 in business credit in one year. This is nuts, y'all. Like, are we gonna get into it? It's a couple more videos I wanna show you. I'm gonna show you this one here. I'm not telling you to quit your job, but here's what I want you to see. Check it. In 2003, I was paid 99000 for a year of work. It took three months to get Chase to give me the $120,000 line to invest with for a 0% down. They said, oh, you're good money. I'm going to give you one hundred twenty grand. A lot quicker than a whole year trying to get 99000 My man said he made $100,000 faster than he would at his job. $120,000 they just gave this man. You feel me? This is the type of stuff I'm talking about, all right? So we're gonna talk today about this credit, this business credit, velocity banking as well, and uh, how y'all gonna come up in life, how y'all gonna get to these levels, how you can live life free, and you don't even gotta really change much of what you're doing right now. No matter what job you got right now, I can show you how to eat. Don't even matter if you're making $5 an hour, I can still show you how to get to six and seven figures with ease, baby. For those of you who wanna start from scratch and really get to that next level, I did just come out with a credit guide, all right? You don't gotta buy this. Anything in this video, you can take home for free. But for those of you who wanna go to the next level, listen, this guide is going over everything from the very beginning, all the way through your LLCs, all the way through everything you need to build this business credit the right way, all the way to how to do everything. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be cold and it ain't gonna cost you that much. You know what I'm saying? But I promise you, it's gonna be a blessing to you. But this video about to be a blessing to you right now for free. So let's do this right now. Let's go. Yo, do you see what I see on the screen? First and foremost, this ain't a business credit card right here. But this right here, 0% interest for 21 months, bro. That's two years, bro. Stop playing. Listen, Wells Fargo Reflect, 0% interest for 21 months. I, I don't know about you, but that's an investor, investor ready card with no annual fee. All right, so y'all look into this card right here. This on the personal now. I highly recommend doing business on the business side of things so it don't show up on your personal. But if you're not trying to buy a house right now, you're not trying to buy like a bunch of stuff that you need your credit, then cool, use your personal, you know what I'm saying? And then whenever you're ready to buy, make sure you pay everything down and then boom, you in there, all right? But that was just a, that was just a sidebar, all right? Now, if you need a business uh, checking account that's online, all right, you got Brex. Brex is fire, right? You ain't got to worry about all the extra stuff. You're checking your credit saying you can't get approved for certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this one's really good, you know, uh, as far as like an online bank account. All right. Now, PenFed is a great credit union. Look into that. All right. Now, I'm going to keep moving right along. Now, Bluevine. Bluevine is a fire. And I do mean they give you a business line of credit. Hey, you get up to 250000 line of credit, right? Straight like a checking account, you know what I'm saying? And so they do got some requirements, all right? So if you ain't got that bag yet, just get excited because you're going to have that bag. You messing with J Cash, you're going to have that bag. I'm trying to tell you, y'all know I'm going to put you on game. Do what you need. At least 12 months in business. Y'all might want to go ahead and get the, you know, the, the credit course below because I'm telling y'all, go over this, how to get you 12 months if you ain't got 12 months, you know what I'm saying? We got the loopholes, all right? Corporation or LLC, no bankruptcies in the past three years and good standing with the Secretary of State, of course. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, you need at least $10,000 a month in monthly revenue. Now, it was 40000 right? They just dropped it recently. That's good because at first it was 40000 a month. But even people who wasn't making 40000 a month apply still get approved, right? So even if you ain't making 10000 a month, you can apply and still get approved, right? At least a 625 on your personal side, 
I always tell y'all, if y'all want to get business credit, make sure your personal's intact. Personal guarantee everything. It just cuts out all the extra. You know what I'm saying? Having to apply for all the net 30s and all that. But if you decide you want to do, you know, uh, no documentation, all that type of stuff, there, there's plays out there for you. You know what I'm saying? Now, another business working capital uh, place to get funding, Toro. You get startup capital for your business, things like that. One thing is dope about them, no paperwork, no asset, no appraisal, no headaches. You feel me? No paperwork, no documentation. Listen, if you ain't there yet, you need to get you an LLC. You need to get all your stuff going. I'll, I'll go over all that in my little, you know what I'm saying, my little joint below. But listen, Evergreen on the personal side and on the business side, it's the business joint, but that personal, and you can do pre-approvals on this, right? And they're going to, they pre-approve you before you even get it, letting you know what you will get, right? Whether it's 15, 20,000, 5, 10,000, check it out. If you already got a business, if you don't check out their personal joints too, cause they giving out fat limits. All right. No cap. They, they, they do this over here. FNBO. All right. Dot com. All right. Another one to get some business funding. All right. Literally, literally. Let's, let's go to the business funding. All right, you want some business funding up to 250k? Video Advance. Only thing I don't like about Video Advance is they uh they APR be a little high. They 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 APR the interest rates be a little high. But again, if you're doing something like real estate or something, and you know you want to draw from it, pay it back quickly, doing fix and flips or something like that, then you in the game. Okay. So you need a business checking account. Okay, six months in business. I'll show you how to get that if you ain't got six months. Uh, but if you need six months, I'll let your boy in. Uh, 5,000 a monthly bank revenue, at least a 500 credit score. That ain't that. You know what I'm saying? All industries considered. They all industries lit, right? But another thing, um, like if, if for people who want to start building business credit, uh, you can, any store that you go to, look, Home Depot, they got business credit cards. And a lot of the times these is like no documentation uh you know type of qualifications you know what i'm saying and sometimes they don't even check your credit right no impact to your credit score you just seen it uh i know office depot has them as well a lot of this stuff don't be it'd be like ein only type stuff sometimes they might check your personal credit but that's just to verify identity uh so you can get approved for these again and you just wanted to start reporting to your you know your paydex get your paydex score up stuff like that right so boom capital on tap Listen, Capital on Tap is another business credit card that basically just goes like off your bank statements and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of these as well. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. And then of course, Amazon got business credit cards. Easy. Again, a lot of these, these don't have no personal guarantee to them. You know what I'm saying? Some of them do, some of them don't. But again, always make sure your personal is on deck because that's going to make it way easier to get business credit, of course. If you need another business bank account that's dope and they offer credit, uh, Mercury, right? And this is online. Now, like I said, these ones are easy to hop in. You know what I'm saying? And you can get you set up with a credit card and you can be set up just right, all right? But if you need to know how to do everything correctly, of course, get the bundle below. So this business credit thing is the dopest thing ever. The reason why is because you don't need a college degree for none of this credit stuff we talk about, right? You don't need to be the smartest person in the world. The only thing you gotta do is apply and get this paper, right? Now, business credit, on the other hand, is not showing your personal. So that's why you wanna move everything personal, straight business, right? When you do it this way, your personal stays clean and pure, right? And then the business side is, is holding, you know, the debt, so to speak, but it's not showing on your personal at all. So your personal credit score is never affected. All right. Now check this out though. This is what I was telling y'all previous videos ago, right? Apple, the company Apple holds 2 billion, I mean, $200 billion in cash in the bank and they still borrow money. One of the richest companies known to man, right? They got 200 billion in cash, but they're still borrowing money, $7 billion worth. Why? Because leverage is always key. It's been key. And I've been trying to tell you, if you want to come up, you got to learn how to leverage. This credit game is different. All right. Look at this one. Check this, check this out. Billionaires and country clubs that receive small business loans from the government. I don't think y'all just caught that. Billionaires and country clubs that receive what small business loans why are billionaires getting small business loans 
Come on, man. <laughs> Leverage. You've been lost. So if, if your parents and everybody been telling you to stay away from credit, credit cards and loans, we only use credit, credit cards and loan to acquire assets, to build businesses. And other than that, that's it. Now, if we want to enjoy luxury things afterwards, then yeah, we do that. But that's the only reason why we use credit uh, lines of credit and business loans, right? To acquire assets, to build wealth. That's it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So did you know that with your business credit, right? You can buy a business. Yeah, you can buy businesses. Let's say you and a cousin or a friend or y'all got y'all business credit together. Y'all got y'all LLCs. Y'all did y'all thing, right? And y'all want to go buy a business. Uh, biz buy and sell. Highly recommend, right? And we got Loop, uh, LoopNet for being able to buy businesses, right? And franchises. Biz Ben, ain't really heard too much about them. I know they've been around a long time, but I don't know how reputable they are. I know the other two are very reputable, but I'm only using this website because they actually give you cash flow numbers. All right. So for instance, they got this business right here, right? It's a uh, cocktail bar. All right. They're asking for, I think, 1.4 million. Yeah. The asking price is 1.4 million. The revenue on it is 3 million a year. And it has a cash flow of 500,000. They want 300,000 down, right? The dopest thing about this is that all the employees and everything are already in place. The owner's just selling it. Everybody, this is still a fully running business that makes 500K. I mean, that makes 3 million a year and then 500K cash flow, right? So everything's in place. Only thing you have to do is buy it and then, you know, check in on it. Make sure everything is running properly, right? But let's say you and three friends, shout out to uh, Haitian CEO, I heard him say something like this. Uh, in a video uh, before, 10% down, let's say 300K down. So y'all each have $100,000 off your business credit cards, right? We don't want to do it on a personal because that's going to affect your credit score. Do it on a business, don't affect your credit score. 100,000 a piece, right? And it's already bringing in what? 500,000 cash flow, meaning money left over after everything is paid for. That's crazy. So that's about 500,000 a year is around like 41,000 a month. 40,000 a month, somewhere in there, which will leave you all three of y'all with 13,000 a month a piece. So that means I paid 100,000 to be making $13,000 a month, right? That's already a six figure revenue out the gate, all right? Each one of y'all decide y'all wanna go uh, check in on the business, check in on the managers, check in on this, you know what I'm saying? Do your research. Now I'm just giving you examples of what's out there, but there's a lot of different businesses out there that you can buy, right? So again, this is another business website. You can buy franchises, you can buy businesses, you can actually sell businesses, right? Why not already buy into the cash flow, right? This one, cash required to, to be an owner in this business right here, and this business, how, how long has it been around? All right, let's look at it. Been franchising since 1987, 30,000 required. You know what I'm saying? To get on in there. Now I'm sure you probably got multiple uh, investors in here with you, but you already instantly in ca hidden cash flow. These businesses have been around forever, right? So this is this is definitely a different uh, website you should check out. They got a lot of different businesses, a lot of different franchises that you know. Uh, this one has restaurants. You know, look 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 at this one, Tropical Smoothie. We all know Tropical Smoothie. They sell in this location, right? Everybody's still in place. Business is still fully running for 2.9 million, right? 10% down. You get again, you get three partners, two or three partners, business credit. Y'all go in there, y'all already cash flowing. They give you the location, they give you everything, right? But they have a ton of different businesses that's way cheaper than these, of course. You know, I just went to the higher end, but they got some that's, you know, $20,000, $30,000, $14,000. You just gotta go in here and do your research. If that's something you do, and they got, you know, multiple different industries and things like that. But this is what business credit can be used for. It can also be used to buy land, right? It could be used to buy land from a land bank. YouTube or Google Land Bank, you know what I'm saying? Uh, those are like land auctions as well and stuff like that, uh, that you could buy super cheap land. So look, land bank properties for sale, foreclosed land for sale. You got all kinds of stuff. Once you do that, you could buy like little land and stuff for for the low. This is just an example, but this ain't the land bank. This is just a website, but $6,000, boom. $7,000 get you a piece of land. $6,000 get you a piece of land right cheap land cheap land cheap land right and what could you do with that land well you could do a few different things you could build tiny homes on it for the low right depending on you know what the, the state says you know you gotta of course talk to them and make sure everything and the regulations is all good but you could build tiny homes storage uh, houses or whatever you can uh sell the land to somebody else sell the land to a developer so let's say for instance you bought a, you bought land right for 
eight thousand dollars or five thousand dollars or whatever right let's say it's in a a zoning area where they can build multifamily homes or they can build a commercial property right let's say you bought it for eight or nine thousand you sell it to the developer for fifty thousand right they build they uh you know a multifamily unit on it but you you cash flow because you sold it you know you upsold it bought it for eight sold it for 50. you know what i'm saying so it's a bunch of different things like that you can do but i told you a lot of this stuff don't really cost that much you just don't be knowing where to look right some people just don't know where to look but there's millions and millions of different plays when it comes to this business credit y'all a whole lot so i use trulia um a, mor a mortgage payment calculator uh to pretty much you know show me like certain businesses and what the down payment would be usually like 10 percent uh and of course you can go to sba loan route as well um look into sba loans and stuff like that you'll be able to you know do 10 percent down you get approved for those but check this out so let's say for instance a company a business was selling a business for six hundred forty nine thousand, right your down payment sixty four thousand, right if you got that in credit boom you take that off and you go get you a business you go get you a house to airbnb you go get you something else you know what i'm saying they got a lot of different things out here. Let's say you found something for 185, 180,000. Boom, 18,000 down, right? And I just use this, you know, this is for homes and stuff, but I use this just to kind of give me a ballpark. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. But these are these are the type of things that you can do, okay? Because when it comes to business credit, y'all, listen, that's where the plays are made. So let's go over here, American Express. So if you wanna get, you know, a bunch of business credit cards, shout out to Smitty for this. Boom, you come here to American Express, I got an American Express card. You can get about four or five of these at once. All you gotta do, you come here, right? They let you apply on one inquiry. Once you do one inquiry, you can apply for multiple things, but you gotta do it this way. You gotta open them up in different browsers. So let's say I open this up in one browser. I open this side up in one browser. I apply for them both right at the same time and then i hit uh apply at the exact same time basically and you get approved for all the cards on one inquiry you know what i'm saying dope stuff you could do that on multiple different uh cards and stuff like that so these are these are different hacks that you could do with the business credit now these are charge cards of course they got to be paid back in 30 days they do got other cards that don't uh like i said i do go over that kind of stuff in the in the credit course right i'll let you do your research and all that stuff for yourself but again, there is a million and one ways to do this business credit. I told you, you could buy people's barbershops, all kind of companies and businesses with this stuff, and it can make you a revenue because you don't have to be poor anymore. You don't have to live check to check no more. You don't have to do none of this stuff because there's opportunities out there for you. The best way to like build business credit, y'all, is to build a relationship with banks, right? Banks and credit unions. There's a lot of them out there. Again, I do go over that stuff inside the course but there's a whole lot of banks and credit unions all you got to do i'm gonna tell you right now this is all you got to do you go in there you open the checking and the savings account you put about fifty dollars in one fifty dollars in another one right you build a relationship with them in about 15 to 30 days you go and apply for funding right that's it all they're gonna do is make sure they're gonna look and see oh we got a uh, relationship with us already you got a business bank account uh things like that and you're good to go. They'll start giving you funding, boom. And a lot of the times, they won't just give you funding on the personal, they'll give you funding on the business. Cause you apply for one and they'll say, hey, well, do you want a business credit card? Do you need a business credit card? Yes, I need both, you know what I'm saying? And then you walking out of there with 30, 40, 50, sometimes 100K depending on where you go. I've seen in other, other videos, uh, people getting 100K in one day, you know what I'm saying? They're out there, people do it. Right. If one bank gives you it's not about getting everything from one bank. Right. That's why we build relationships with multiple banks. Right. You can also get a foreign entity right in a different state. OK. And you can go apply online uh, for different credit unions in different states and, and maximize your funding that way. You want to know how to get a foreign entity? Bingo. Busy. This is also a place that you get your LLCs, but you can file a foreign entity right out of state. And now you can do business out of state because you'll technically be in the state, you know what I'm saying, uh, when you file a foreign entity. But then you're able to apply for different credit unions in different states. So now not only are you maximizing the credit unions in your state, but now you're maximizing credit unions in a different state. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you maximize funding. So many different gyms, baby.
And again, you could actually be a blessing to someone else's business by coming in and buying a share of their business and then being the person who can provide more things to their business. And I always give the example of like a food truck owner, right? You come in, you talk to them and say, hey, do you need something? I want to be an investor. I want to have a, you know, 15% stake in your company or 20% stake in your company, right? I could provide this. You know, if you need a new stove, I can get you that. I can get you these uh, things like that. I just need 15%, you know what I'm saying, of all revenue that comes in. But you could be that because there's a lot of small businesses as well that need people like you who understand business credit, who understand how to do this, who understand velocity banking, right? And they may say, hey, yo, I'm down with that. Like, I need this, that, and the third. Boom. You be able to you be able to buy it for them. And boom, you're not, you not sitting in line. You're not serving the food. You're not doing none of that. You came in as an uh, investor, right? Bought a piece of the company, provided what they needed, they're still running the business, and now you're getting cash flow every single month. And you could do that with a million different businesses, right? A million different small businesses. You can always go into different businesses and say, hey, oh, I see this, I see they could do that better. Uh, they can get a credit card reader for that, they can do this, they can do that. And you, and you'll, you know, you'll eat. All right, so now, <laughs> let's get into this velocity banking portion of this. Yo, so let's talk velocity banking. This scenario right here is actually from a subscriber. All right, and they wanted to wanted me to break this down. So check this out. For those of you who don't know what Velocity Banking is, it's just the uh, method of paying down debt using lines of credit. Um, I don't have time to get into all that. I got another video I recently uploaded, so go check that one out as well. But for this scenario, all right, so he has a credit card debt of 23,000 from Forex. Now, rule number one, all right, his, his credit limit on that card right it's 26,500 so he used 23,000 of it for forex now i don't know if that was all at once i don't know if that was over time but good rule of thumb all right whenever i invest on my credit card i only take off a thousand to two thousand uh max for the most part uh and i try to grow that because of this reason right here this could easily go left if you put a lot in there and, and you and you don't have your you know not saying you don't but if you don't got your emotions uh, under control and you're making you know, bad decisions in the market based off emotions or something like that, this could easily happen to anybody, right? This kind of debt. Uh, so I always recommend, look, only put stuff in there you know you could pay back quickly, right? And then if you did decide to put 23,000 in there, only risk two to 3,000 of it. Treat it like a funded account, right? On the funded account, they're not gonna let you blow the whole thing. They're only gonna give you a certain amount that you right. If I go to twenty thousand, I gotta take this out, pay that twenty thousand back, pay the the three thousand back by over time, and then I will put the twenty three thousand back in there and try it again. Doing it like that, you getting your points up and all that, your airline miles and all that, right? So, just a rule of thumb: if you're gonna take that much out, don't risk the whole thing. But we're here, so check this out. Credit card debt, 23000 from his card, that's 26500 All right. So he was asking, though, should I take out a line of credit, right, to pay off the credit card? Yes, this is what Velocity Banking does, right? So a line of credit uh, is not a credit card, right? So you can have a check-in line of credit. You can have uh, a personal check-in line of credit. You can have a business line of credit, which is called a B-lock. Uh, or you can have a home equity line of credit, which is a HELOC. So I would recommend if you can get approved for it, right? If you can't, then you might you need to get the course below so we can go over some things on that you need to do. If you got a $30,000 line of credit, you will use this line of credit to pay off this credit card completely. Now, if this is a what we call a B-lock, a business line of credit, let's say we change that to a business line of credit because you said you could probably get it with your EIN, right? Then this doesn't show on your personal. Right, so if I took thirty thousand here, knocked out a personal card, that my score is gonna jump up because I knocked out personal debt. This ain't gonna show up on the business at all. So now, let's say the business uh, line of credit is now negative twenty three thousand. This card is completely paid off on the personal. So now, you gotta pay this back. All right, you gotta pay the uh, business line of credit back. Okay, so you negative twenty three thousand on that. Now, let's say. You got a cash flow of 2300 okay so i don't know what your cash flow is but let's say you got a cash flow of 2300 every month if you put 2300 towards your line of credit 
it will take you 10 months to fully pay off your $23,000 line of credit using, you know, the $2,300 a month exclusively for this purpose, right? So, 10 months. Now, what I like to do is get my cash flow number up even more because I usually don't want it to take more than three to four months to pay something off. So, you can get that cash flow number up by, you know, of course, increasing your investments or increasing uh, your side hustles or whatever that is to get that number up uh, to get around to, you know, three to four months if possible. But if not, 10 months is not that long. You know what I'm saying? 10 months is not that long. But if you want to reinvest again, of course, then you got to wait 10 months type of situation. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, again, Velocity Banking can help you pay your stuff off quickly, but the cash flow number is key right? Cash flow is very key in Velocity Banking. You need your cash flow number to be very high. That's why I tell people, look, if you're going to invest, do it the right way, okay? Keep keep your expenses low and keep increasing your cash flow, all right? So that's pretty much a, a scenario, Velocity Banking. Um, there's many more out there, Sam, but other than that, man, Lord willing, I'll see you on another video. Comment below what type of videos you want to see next. I got you. Let's get it.